Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the U.S. Over 600,000 people each year die from heart disease. Over 28 million people are diagnosed with it. It has been one of the leading causes of death since 1975 and is the leading cause of death for both men and women. Coronary heart disease kills over 370,000 people annually. Every year, about 375,000 Americans have a heart attack. Heart disease is responsible for one in every four deaths. Welcome to our first episode of H2 versus the top 10 causes of death in the U.S. In this video, we'll look at what the research has to say about how hydrogen gas can potentially benefit heart disease. This includes a look at the benefits hydrogen can potentially induce for related issues like cardiac arrest, arthrosclerosis, blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar, and overall heart health. Then we'll top it off with the role hydrogen may play in preventing heart disease and related disorders. But first things first, what is heart disease? Heart disease is also known as cardiovascular disease and encompasses many types of heart disease. Coronary heart disease is the most common type. It is a disease in which plaque builds up inside the coronary arteries that supply oxygen-rich blood to your heart muscles. When plaque builds up in the arteries, it's called arthiosclerosis, and this buildup occurs over many years. Research suggests that coronary heart disease starts when certain factors damage the inner layer of the coronary arteries. Some of these factors include smoking, high levels of certain fats and cholesterol in the blood, high blood pressure, high levels of sugar in the blood, blood vessel inflammation, or oxidative stress. Some major risk factors for heart disease are unhealthy blood cholesterol levels or high triglycerides, insulin resistance, overweight or obesity, lack of physical activity, unhealthy diet, or high levels of C-reactive protein. Some treatments often suggested in the medical field are lifestyle changes, such as quitting smoking, eating healthier foods, and lower fat intake, exercising regularly, losing excess weight, or reducing stress, or medications such as cholesterol modifying medication, beta blockers, nitroglycerin, etc. Some related disorders under the umbrella of heart disease are congestive heart failure, peripheral artery disease, cardiac arrest, or arrhythmia. Now that we know what it is and how it happens, let's look at 10 ways H2 can benefit heart disease based on the current research. Number one, hydrogen can potentially improve overall heart function. In this study, we see that the H2 present in the treatment was able to reduce severe arrhythmias and significantly restore heart function. The results here indicate improved cardiac function from implementing H2. This study found that hydrogen water treatment improved cardiac function as well as decreased oxidative stress and suppressed inflammation in the heart. It goes on to conclude that the treatment with molecular hydrogen diminished cardiac dysfunction. To top it off, this interesting study was done on chemotherapy-induced heart failure. The results indicated significantly improved heart function and decreased oxidative stress markers when treated with hydrogen. Number two, hydrogen may improve the function of left and right ventricles of the heart. This study shows results of improvement of systolic pressure in the right ventricle with administration of molecular hydrogen. Here's another study where H2 improved the function of the damaged left ventricle as well as exerting protective effects. And here we see that H2 treatment resulted in reverse right ventricle hypertrophy among other benefits. Number three, H2 may protect the heart during ischemia and reperfusion. Ischemia means that there is an insufficient blood supply to an organ or a part of the body. Reperfusion is the act of restoring blood flow to an organ or tissue, and while highly needed, it can cause some damage. To quote this study, myocardial, meaning the muscle tissue in the heart, ischemic injury is a common pathological process in patients suffering from cardiac conditions, including atherosclerotic coronary artery disease, acute myocardial infarction, and cardiac transplantation meaning ischemia is a common problem when dealing with issues surrounding heart disease. This study goes on to say that hydrogen gas exerted marked myocardial protection. It concluded that hydrogen gas protected cardiomyocytes from ischemia-induced injury. So essentially, hydrogen protected the cells in the heart's muscle tissue from being damaged during this injury. In this study, they concluded that the use of H2 during ischemia and reperfusion reduced infarct size and maintain cardiac function. They also determined that this administration may be useful for planned coronary interventions 
or for the treatment for ischemia reperfusion injuries. The reduction of the infarct size with the administration of molecular hydrogen is also mentioned in this study. An infarct is a small area of dead tissue resulting from an obstruction of blood supply. A myocardial infarction is also known as a heart attack. The mentioned study is about the protection of molecular hydrogen for the myocardium against ischemia reperfusion injury. The study concluded that molecular hydrogen is a novel, simple, safe, and effective method at reducing the effects of myocardial ischemia reperfusion injury. Number four, hydrogen may significantly reduce cardiac hypertrophy and cardiac fibrosis. So first, let me explain what these two things are. Cardiac hypertrophy is abnormal enlargement of heart tissue from the increased size of its cells. Cardiac fibrosis is an abnormal thickening of the heart valves. This study gives a good statement about cardiac hypertrophy. It says, although cardiac hypertrophy has traditionally been considered as an adaptive response required to sustain cardiac output in response to stress, long-standing hypertrophy will eventually lead to congestive heart failure, arrhythmia, and sudden death. Yikes! This study goes on to say that heart failure is often preceded by left ventricle hypertrophy. The results of the study indicate that the administration of H2 prevented cardiac hypertrophy and improved cardiac function. This is a different study where the results suggest that molecular hydrogen not only significantly decreased cardiac hypertrophy, but it also alleviated cardiac fibrosis among other benefits. And finally, we see in this study where the inhalation of H2 gas prevented hypertrophy and fibrosis in the left ventricle. Number five, H2 may play an important role in improving atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of fats, cholesterol, and other substances in and on the artery walls. It is the primary cause of heart disease and is the underlying cause of 50% of all deaths in westernized societies. If H2 can play a role in atherosclerosis specifically, it would therefore potentially have a major impact on heart disease. To quote this study, because human atherosclerosis is primarily a consequence of vessel wall inflammation, hydrogen administration may thus represent a useful therapeutic strategy for avoiding or treating atherosclerosis. This study suggests that H2 may significantly reduce atherosclerotic lesions and decrease oxidative stress in the aorta. It goes on to propose that the consumption of hydrogen water has the potential to prevent arteriosclerosis. The finding from this study suggests that the continual consumption of hydrogen water decreased oxidative stress levels and prevented the formation of atherosclerosis. The last two quotes come from a human study. It says the present findings highlight the potential role of H2 in the regression in hypercholesterolemia and atherosclerosis. The study goes on to state, therefore, we conclude that oral administration of H2 water may prevent or delay the development and progression of hypercholesterolemia and atherosclerosis. Number six, molecular hydrogen has the potential to decrease high blood pressure. According to this study, there is a strong, significant, and independent association of elevated blood pressure with cardiovascular disease mortality risk. Let's revisit this study where it explains that the heart function parameters including left ventricle systolic pressure and left ventricle diastolic pressure were significantly improved with hydrogen administration. This publication reviews data suggesting sessions with hydrogen-rich solution decreased systolic blood pressure. And this study concluded that H2 is helpful in the recovery of systolic blood pressure. Perhaps an even more intriguing quote from this article states that the results showed that after treatment with hydrogen, high blood pressure genuinely decreased for the patients, and in some instances, patients reached normal tensive status. It also concluded that hydrogen was able to stop inflammation and improve blood pressure. Number seven, H2 has demonstrated the ability to potentially normalize or benefit cholesterol levels. Cholesterol is often characterized as HDL or healthy cholesterol and LDL, which is bad cholesterol. As mentioned in this study, a high level of HDL cholesterol is reported to protect against cardiovascular disease and low HDL cholesterol levels increase the risk of heart disease. In this study, it states that HDLs are known to protect against the development of atherosclerosis, 
and are widely documented as a negative risk factor for coronary disease. It goes on to say that H2 treatment decreases plasma cholesterol levels, plasma oxidative stress, and inflammatory status. According to this study, hydrogen water intake may prevent fat deposits in the aorta and decrease aortic oxidative stress. Which brings me to this particular study that concluded that supplementation with H2 rich water seemed to decrease LDL levels and improve HDL functions. Lastly, this human study demonstrated that H2 rich water was able to increase participants HDL levels by 8% and decrease total cholesterol by 13% in four weeks. Number eight, H2 has the potential to reduce blood sugar levels and protect the body from high blood sugar damage. As stated in this study, there are certain aspects of hyperglycemia that could lead to the development of cardiovascular disease. Consumption of added sugar has been implicated in the increased risk of chronic diseases, including heart disease, as mentioned in this study. This comprehensive study concluded that drinking H2 water decreased levels of plasma glucose, insulin, and triglycerides. This study also noted that the effect of H2 on high glucose levels were similar to that of a diet restriction. Here we see that the intake of hydrogen-rich water normalized the oral glucose tolerance test. It goes on to conclude that hydrogen water may have a beneficial role in prevention of insulin resistance. We learned in this study that high glucose levels can enhance DNA damage. It says, however, H2 can not only reduce DNA damage of injured cells, but also inhibit the special cell death process, reduce the cell toxicity, all of which have protective effects. This study, however, is very interesting. It explains the results in which hydrogen water was found to lower the blood glucose level of participants with abnormally high blood glucose levels but did not induce a reduction of a normal blood glucose level. Did I hear that right? Hydrogen is crazy. Number nine, hydrogen has the potential to protect blood vessels and maintain their function. To quote this study, the vascular endothelium is a functional tissue that responds to sheer stress caused by the varying blood flow and pressure, thereby maintaining the appropriate vasomotor tone. Endothelial dysfunction therefore causes accumulation of vascular damage and induces chronic inflammation followed by atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. It goes on to say that H2 is expected to prevent vascular shear stress from triggering endothelial dysfunction. Number 10, hydrogen has potential recovery benefits after cardiac arrest. One of the exciting things about this one is that H2 inhalation has recently been approved as a medical procedure for post-cardiac arrest syndrome in Japanese hospitals. Here we see in this study where H2 therapy was able to improve heart function and neurological outcomes after a cardiac arrest. The study also showed with the administration of H2 after a cardiac arrest, the 96 hour survival rate was significantly increased. So that's it. That's how H2 benefits heart disease. But wait, there's more. There's a bonus benefit for H2 for heart disease. And it's quite possibly the most impactful benefit yet. And that is the potential of H2 for the prevention of heart disease. I'm sure not everyone watching this video has been diagnosed with or impacted by heart disease. So it may seem like a far off subject to you. But considering that one in every four deaths in the US is due to heart disease, the chances of you or someone close to you developing heart disease is pretty high and it's not just a US issue it is the leading cause of death in the world in 2015 over 8 million people across the world died from heart disease so it's safe to say working on preventing heart disease should be on everyone's radar we already mentioned some data addressing the preventative qualities of H2 for this subject but let's take a further look at what some of the research says about this here we see that the consumption of H2 dissolved into water has the potential to prevent arterial sclerosis. Here is another one that proposes that the regular consumption of molecular hydrogen dissolved into water has the potential to prevent atherosclerosis. In the same study, we see the effectiveness of hydrogen water was greater than folic acid, vitamin E, and iron in the prevention of atherosclerosis. In this one, they propose a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease attributing to increased production of H2 in the gastrointestinal tract. This study shows that H2 can even increase the anti-infarct 
or anti-heart attack effect. Here we see that H2 has a long lasting antioxidant and anti-aging effect on vascular endothelial cells. It further concluded that hydrogen rich water may be a functional drink that increases longevity. And finally, in this study, they demonstrated the ingestion of H2 water for six months prevented the development of atherosclerosis, which further quoted says, these results suggest that persistent intake of H2 has the potential to reduce oxidative stress and may prevent cardiovascular disease. With all that being said, and I know it was a lot, let's end with one last final quote from this review publication. Hydrogen may, on the basis of our observation, offer a simple, easy to use, safe, and economic novel approach for future cardiac protection. So what do you think? Are you convinced that molecular hydrogen may be beneficial for the leading cause of death in the world? Catch us in two weeks for the second installment of this series. And the topic is cancer. And that's your dose of H2 in a lot of heartfelt minutes. Check out our Patreon for behind the scenes sneak peeks and extras. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.